Okay, so in this video we're going to have a look and show you how to install CraftMaker Pro onto your Mac machine. Um, you should have downloaded the package maker file, so from the members area you'll have had a, an email with a link to download that. Um, so if you've gone in there, download that to either your desktop or your downloads folder, wherever it may be. And you should have this file downloaded and saved. You just need to double click on this. And then we'll follow through the prompts, so it will just ask you a few steps. So we'll click continue, continue again agree to the terms and conditions, uh, tell you how much space you actually need and then click install and ask you for your password of your machine and, and it will go through the installation process so this will take, um, depending on, on your machine and memory etc um, a minute or two to actually install so it's just writing the information into the applications folder we're nearly done Okay, so installation is done, so we'll close that. Okay, so now that that's installed, you can actually you can delete this or get rid of this if you if you want to because you don't need that anymore. Now, if we go we'll bring in here, this is the applications on your Mac machine. So we can see here we've got CraftMaker Pro, and this is the app here. So like any other application, you can actually drag this and you can put this onto your toolbar as a shortcut if you want. So now you can access that any time that you need. But what you must do, you must make sure that this app always sits within the folder structure in here. You can't actually drag this outside. It has to live inside the CraftMaker Pro folder. Okay? And then in here you can see there's a couple of other folders. So we've got our, our backups which are covered in the backups uh, video tutorial and uh, support and some extensions. Okay, but all you need to do to run the program, so if we just click on the CraftMaker Pro app, okay, because the first time it's launching, it's just going to check for an internet connection. Okay, and to activate, once you've actually purchased, if you have an activation code, you'll click on activate. If you're actually using this as a trial, then you can click on try. And if you actually need to buy a license code, you can click on buy, and that will take you to actually purchase one. So for activation, just click on activate. It's going to ask you for your username and organization name if you want to put one in and your registered email address. So this will be your, your license code is basically your email address that you purchased with. So we'll type that in. Click OK. And you have to be connected to the internet for this to, for the first time to register. Okay, your software was activated successfully. Okay, so that's it. You, you've done the first step. You've actually installed CraftMaker Pro now, and you can go through the other tutorials on actually getting set up and starting to enter in some of your company information.